In October 1992, it was six of the best against Sunderland. Coming up to the 25th minute of the game. West Ham against Sunderland. Keane shot. Keane's goal. 1 0 West Ham. Well, if you don't take a shot, you'll never score a goal. And it just took a little bit of a sting off the pitch there. Greasy pitch, and the pace just beat Parkin towards the near post. Huntington trying to get it through to Gordon Armstrong, stopped by Keane. Playing it for Dix. Allen. You can see it was curling and just curling away, hitting that to back support. Dix. Oh, it might come through to Keane. Played in again. Clive Allen's trying to get in there. Ball is in there. It's two. And real breathing space now for West Ham. Keane again had a part in it where the ball played in, Clive Allen tried to make something of it, it fell for Trevor Morley, and West Ham 2-0 in the lead. Goes Martin Allen, <laughs> cheers of the crowd, the crowd are really enjoying this now, they, they appreciate the West Ham style of play and have done for years here, and they're seeing it reborn again here now, as Martin Allen goes through, the flag stays down! see Kevin Ball taking a wild miss kick at that. When that ball's played forward, there's John Kay playing Martin Allen quite clearly on side, and he's cool as a cucumber as he places it over Carter. Some bright one-touch play by West Ham. 3-0, Keane, Morley, Martin Allen, 39 minutes gone. Mark Robson with the free kick. West Ham looking for goal number four. Loaded in there towards Dix. of the season and West Ham go 4-0 ahead of Sunderland here at Upton Park Martin Allen in for Robson with a touch forward towards uh, Clive Allen dumped on the floor and wasn't too happy about it Potts guiding that ball back to Miklosko Level in the first place. Once then he puts it onto his left foot, Sunderland should be out. But they've let him creep behind them, Robson, and that was a delightful little touch, born out of the confidence of leading 4-0 at this stage of the game. Here's Rush. That's a good break by Gary Hours. He's given a penalty. I think it was Potts who brought Gary Hours down. If any man deserves to get something from this game, it's Don Goodman. Eight stitches in a wound in his head. And the goal is saved. Great work by Miklosko, and it certainly isn't Sunderland's afternoon. Butler. Knocked in again towards Kevin Keane. Are they going to finish with a flourish? They might. They have. Robson again. 
6 0. Their biggest win of the season by far. Too short of their record victory in the league, again against Sunderland. The final whistle after an exhilarating afternoon for West Ham and their fans. Alvin Martin, the man of the match, scorer of one of the goals. Mark Robson with two. Morley with one. Keane, who started it all off. And Martin Allen, who had such an influential game through that midfield, adding the other one. 6 0. It's been a real joy, the performance and the quality that West Ham have shown.